Before participating in this exercise video, please look up, down, side to side, and make sure you have a safe, small space without any objects you may bump into while moving. Hi, and welcome to Active Parramatta Online, brought to you by the City of Parramatta Council. My name's Michael from Active Empowerment, and I'll be bringing you a 10-week active movement program for kids between the ages of nine and 12. So grab your water bottles, and let's get started. All right, so copying me to begin with. What we're gonna start off with is some opposite arm, opposite leg marching. So if you're lifting your left leg, you're punching up with your right arm, okay? Just like this. Once you get that coordination, I want you to try and go a little bit quicker. Good, all right, and one, two, three, try and punch up nice and high, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent, Ed, stopping there. All right, let's then go into just some forwards punching. Okay, so nice and quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I will also do punching up. So big punches up into the air. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten excellent all right we're also going to do some side skips as well so just as far as you can all right and then going back skip and back eight nine and ten excellent all right Let's repeat those three exercises. So I'll start off with those opposite arm, opposite leg marching, okay? Again, punching up nice and high. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent, all right. We'll go into our straight punching next. Okay, so big punches straight out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, and then straight up again, big punches up. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All done. All right, then we'll go into our side skips again. So again, as far as you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. All right, excellent. All right, we're gonna do one more round. So again, starting with our opposite arm, opposite leg marching. Okay, so reaching up nice and high. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. All right. Forwards punching again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, punching up. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, and last one, side skips again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. All right, now we're gonna go into some balance exercise. So, using the two balls, you're gonna throw them from hand to hand, just like so. And what I want you to do while you're doing that is to be doing your heel to toe walking. Okay, so walking heel to toe while throwing the ball hand to hand. Nice and slow, good, and then backwards as well. Okay, nice and slow, try and not to drop the balls and trying to not lose your balance. Good, and forwards again. Keep throwing the balls. Good, and then backwards. Good, all right. And one more time, forwards. Try and throw the balls a little bit higher. Good, and then backwards again. Try not to drop the balls or lose your balance. Excellent, good job. Time for a break. Grab your drink and have a drink of water. take some deep breaths so big deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and again in through your nose out through your mouth this time try and hold it for three seconds so in through your nose How did you go with last week's challenge? Remember, your challenge was to see how many push-ups you could do in total. So the max number of push-ups before you had to stop. Were you able to get over 10, even over 20? Let me know how you went. All right, your challenge for the week is to see if you're able to, with two balls, okay, in one hand, if you're able to throw and catch. Yep, just like that, but without dropping it. So again, with the two balls, throw and catch. Just like that. So you're trying to juggle with one hand. See how you go? See how many throws you can do? Try both hands. You'll probably find one side's a lot easier than the other, but give it a go and see how many you're able to do. For the next round of exercises, what I want you to do is to place some cones or some markers on the floor. For home, you can use some socks or anything that you have available. Okay, so place your markers out. What we're gonna do is start at the top. We're gonna side skip nice and fast, touch the cone. Side skip, touch, and make your way down through all your cones. We're gonna walk back through the beginning go again. Side skip, touch, 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 and touch. Good. If you have a bit more space, feel free to make your cones a little bit wider. Okay, but again, touch, 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 and touch. Good. And one more time, back to the beginning. Side skip, Excellent. All right. What we're going to do next is using both feet. Okay. We're going to jump as far forward as you can and land on both feet. Come back to the beginning. Big jump. 
Whoop. And land. Try and land nice and still. Just like that. It's three. Big jump. Four. Stopping there. Alright. We're then going to come down into a plank on our hands. Okay? Holding nice and still. We're going to do some shoulder touches. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent, alright. Once you've done 10, standing back up, and we'll go back into our side steps and touches. So, big, big skips across and touch. Touch. Good. One, and walking back to the beginning and going again. Touch. Remember, if you have a bit more space, Make your cones a little bit wider. Good. And one more time back to the beginning. And go. Touch. Touch. Excellent. All right. Let's go back to our nice big jumps. Okay, so starting with both feet on the ground. Jumping off both legs at the same time and big jump forwards and land. One. Okay, back to the beginning. Big jump and land. Two. Three. Four. Coming back down onto the ground, into our plank, back into our shoulder touches. So, nice and straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. All right, coming back to the beginning. We'll do one more round. So starting off with our side skips first. Okay, big skips across. Touch your cone, make your way down. Excellent. All right, coming back to the beginning, and again. Good. Try and go as fast as you can now. Okay, so nice and quick. Good, and back to the beginning. One more round. Big skips. Excellent. All right. We're going to get back into our big jumps. So, jumping off both feet at the same time. Swing your arms. Big jump. Jump forward. One. Good job. Two. six. Good. And then down into our plank again. Ten more shoulder touches. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And standing back up. Alright. For the next round of exercises, we're going to be using your weight that we've used in the past. Okay, so what we're going to start off with is holding onto your weight and just holding it at your chest. All 
Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a squat, standing up nice and tall, then lunging back on both legs. There's three movements for one rep. So, squat, standing up, leg back, lunge, and then the other leg. Alright, that's two. So squat, lunge, and lunge. Three. Six, two more. And last one, one more. Big squat, up nice and tall, lunging back. Excellent, okay. With your weight, we're gonna hold it in one hand by our side. Okay, we're gonna do a bicep curl, and pushing up nice and high into the air. Back down, so bicep curl, shoulder press. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, changing hands. Same thing, bicep curl and shoulder press. Back down. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Putting your weights down. All right, we're then going to go into some walking half raises. So again, with each step, we need to try and push up nice and high onto your toes, and take your next step. Okay, big step up onto your toes. If you need to hold on to something when you're doing this, like your wall or the back of your couch, just something you can use to balance if you need to. Good, all right. The fourth exercise we're gonna go into is a bear crawl. So, coming down onto your hands and knees, pushing up onto your toes, Okay, and doing our bear crawls. All the way as far as you can, standing up, turning around, and going again. That's it, go as far as you can, and standing up. All right, grab your weight again. We're gonna go back into our squats and lunges. So, holding the weight of your chest, squatting down, standing up, then lunging back. One, two, so that's one. Squat and lunge. Two, three, Five, six, seven, and last one, eight. Excellent. All right. Holding the weight in one hand again. We're going to go back to our bicep curls, 
overhead pushes. Back down. So fast up curl, push. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, Changing hands, and exact same thing. Curl and push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. All right, putting your weight back down, we're going to get back into those walking calf raises. So again, with each step, pushing up onto your toes. We're good. If you need to hold on to something, again, feel free. Use your wall or the back of your couch. Good. Stopping there, and then we're going to get back into our bear crawl. So, coming down onto our hands and knees, pushing up onto your toes, and taking those steps forward all the way as far as you can, standing up, turning around, and going back. Perfect. All right. Grab your weight, we're going to do one more round. So, starting off with the weight, holding it in both hands against your chest, doing our squat, standing up tall, and then our reverse lunges. Now that's one. Squat and lunge. Two. Four, five, six, seven. back into those bicep curls, overhead pushes, back down, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Good. Changing sides. Ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Excellent. Again, putting your weight back down. And we're going to those walking calf raises again. So step and push. Nice and high up onto your toes and turning around. Excellent. All right, then we're going to do one more time of our bear crawl. 
coming down onto your hands and knees again, pushing up onto your toes and taking those steps forward. Again, go as far as you can, stand up, turn around and go back. Time for a break. Grab your drink and have a drink of water. All right, now we're gonna take some deep breaths. So, big deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, in through your nose, out through your mouth. This time, try and hold it for three seconds. So in through your nose. And out. All right, next we're gonna go into a stretch. So what I want you to do at home is to find something you're able to hold onto, uh, the back of your couch, kitchen bench. Okay, you're gonna put your hands on the back of your couch or the kitchen bench bring your feet back, you're going to push your head down through your hands and hold that position there. So you should feel a stretch up through your body in through here. And just holding that stretch, holding that position. Standing up, give your arms a bit of a shake. Good, and we're gonna do that again. So coming back down, placing your hands, putting your head through, and getting that nice big stretch. Great job today everyone. Just a reminder, your challenge for the next week is to see if you're able to juggle two balls in one hand. Just like that. Again, try both sides. You'll probably find one side's a little bit easier than the other. That's completely normal. Again, see how many you can do. Will you be able to get over 10? Maybe even over 20? 